Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have the cutest, most delicious recipe for you. I am going to make a pumpkin baked brie. It's gonna be great for this time of year if you're entertaining, if you just are having like a movie night, or even if you are assembling a charcuterie or grazing board, this will be perfect. All right, if you're new here, hi, I'm Claire. Welcome, come in, make yourselves comfortable. I love to cook and I especially love all things fall, autumn, and pumpkin. Uh, so if you like that kind of stuff too, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Today I actually saw this on a TikTok and I absolutely had to try it and of course share it with you because it's so cute. So today we are making a baked brie. Brie is one of my favorite types of cheese. It's nice and soft, buttery, mild. It goes really well with things that are sweet, uh, apples and cranberries and things like that. So this time of year, is a great time to use it. I often will put it on a charcuterie or grazing board, but if you wanna take it to the next level, let's make it look like a pumpkin. All right, for this recipe, I'm only using a few simple ingredients. First of all, the brie. Um, this brie is from Aldi. If you have an Aldi near you, you'll get the best deal there, $2.99 for this round. However, if you go to a fancier store or more gourmet sort of situation, brie can get really expensive, however, it does get very delicious. Sometimes if you get like a super expensive one, you won't regret it, I mean. Next, I'm going to be using some puff pastry. This is regular old Pepperidge Farm frozen puff pastry. You can find it in the freezer aisle with like the pie shells and stuff. So uh, definitely makes this a super convenient recipe. I mean, I guess if you wanted to make your own puff pastry, you could, but like, I don't have time for that. And because they do come frozen and they come in a two pack, uh, you are going to want to thaw this out. It takes about 40 minutes at room temperature. So here is one of my puff pastries, and I'm going to go ahead and set that on my counter so that it can, like, soften up. We want to be able to, like, move it around. It's, it's frozen. Next, to really give it some great fall and pumpkin-y flavor, I've got this pumpkin butter. It's very much like a jam or a jelly. Uh, and it's really, really delicious. I also got this at Aldi. However, you could use um, like an apple butter or like an apple jam would be delicious. Uh, I also have tried this with fig jam and it's very, very good. So use whatever your favorite thing is. You could also use cranberry sauce or you know something similar. So whatever your kind of fall vibe is, go with that flavor. But today we will be using pumpkin butter. I also have one egg that I'm going to be using for our egg wash. I also have some pretzels. These are the honey pretzel twists, and this is going to be the stem of our pumpkin. You could also use like pretzel rods. You could also use like bread sticks, like the crunchy kind. Uh, you know, whatever like stick-like thing you got going on, that'll work, but I found these at Aldi. And my kids love them because there's literally like five left. I also have opted to use a bit of basil to make this look like a real pumpkin. This is definitely totally optional. Really, it's because I have a ton of this growing in my yard and I have to use it up. Oh, it smells so good, but it is a garnish, so optional. Also, you can use whatever kind of leaves you got going in your garden uh, because it's just for looks, so whatever you got. And the last thing we're gonna need, this is not a food item, but it is butcher's twine. And I actually got this on Amazon. It was not very expensive. I will leave a link to it. Uh, down below for you guys. I use it when I like roast chickens and stuff like that. So uh, it does come in handy for other things. And there we go. Let's assemble this uh, cheesy pumpkin. All right. So our uh, puff pastry is a little bit flexible, which is exactly what we want. Nice and thawed. And I think this is going to work for the size brie we have. If you got a larger bit of brie, you might have to put these like together with the other one or you're just gonna have to like roll it just a little bit thinner. First, we're going to add our delicious pumpkin butter. I don't know, I'd say this is probably like a tablespoon. Mm, maybe some, you know what? I'm deviating from the original recipe right now because I just had a good idea. All right, totally optional, but I'm just gonna add some crushed pecans on here too. Oh, yum. Brie goes really well with like all types of nuts. Maybe some uh, walnuts would be good or some slivered almonds. 
but I have these pecans left over from another recipe and it definitely will give us some nice texture there. Okay, now we're gonna put our brie on there. And I'm not gonna puncture it or anything. I'm just gonna put the whole circle right in the center. And then I'm going to close the puff pastry up around it. All right, now I'm going to just set this aside and I'm going to line up my butcher's twine. I'm gonna start with like a big X shape. And then I'm going to add another X. So basically there's four pieces here. And it almost looks like a star. Then we're gonna take our brie, put it in the center, and then we're gonna tie all of the opposite ends to each other. And because like we're gonna bake this, I'm gonna trim these just so that removing these will be easy when it comes time to eat it. We definitely don't want any of our guests to accidentally eat uh, bits of string. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead now and flip it over. It'll just look like this. Oh, I got some pecans poking out. That'll be fine. And I'm going to set it on my tray, just making sure that all of my little sections are kind of even. And now we're going to top it with our egg wash. This will just give us like a really nice color. Give it a nice light coating. All right, and she is ready for the oven. All right, so I have my oven preheated to 400 degrees. We're gonna bake this for about 35 minutes. We'll check on it in half an hour and see. It just kinda depends. Uh, we definitely want it to be nice and brown. We don't want it to burn. Uh, so we'll start with half an hour. It could go up to 40 minutes, but. That's where we're gonna start. Always err on the side of caution. All right, you guys, it's been half an hour and she is so lovely and golden brown. So I think we're good. I don't think we need to leave it in there any longer. Oh my gosh. It's like a perfect little gourd. Oh, I wanna eat it. All right. Oh my gosh, I am obsessed with this, you guys. And now I've got my scissors. We're just gonna take these strings off. Oh my gosh. It did get a little out of control right here, but like, you know, it's still, it is, it is giving us pumpkin. It is giving us gourd. This is so beautiful. All right, carefully, I'm gonna try Take this off here. Oh my gosh, and it's just like so flaky and it smells so good. Oh my gosh. Okay. There we go. Oh. And now we of course have our pretzel that we're gonna stab in there. Throw our little basil leaves in. Oh my gosh. I feel like even Martha Stewart would be like, wow, Claire, that looks great. Oh, she's so cute. And just to plate, I'm gonna throw some apples because apples, of course, are wonderful this time of year. Well, any time of year, but you know, they fit the vibe. And I also have some crackers, but your guests also, might just want to eat this brie on its own because it just also has this nice like crust on it. You don't necessarily need a cracker for it to be delicious. Here we go. Come on. Your family and friends would be so impressed if you rolled up with this. All right, and of course, the last thing we have to do is eat some, obviously. Let's break open this pumpkin baby. This pumpkin cheese baby. 
Oh my goodness. It's perfectly cooked. The crust is just flaky and ooey gooey. Oh my gosh, look at this brie. Oh, and there's our pumpkin butter and our nuts. Oh my gosh. All right, and here we go. Oh, <laughs> it's so good. That pumpkin butter is just like the perfect amount of sweetness and that super light and crispy puff pastry. Like it does not get more delicious than this. This is like, like ultimate delicious food for me. I have to try it on an apple too. Mmm. It's so good. All right, you guys, and there you go. Easy pumpkin baked brie. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought of this recipe. This is something I will definitely do again. It would really, really impress my family, I know, but also my friends, I think, like, this is definitely a showstopper. It would make your charcuterie board, like, next level. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next one. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.